Christmas blessings to you and also Happy New Year. We're still within the 12 days of the Christmas season, and yet our worship today celebrates the culmination of Christmas and the beginning of the season of Epiphany, as we have transferred our celebration of the festival of the Epiphany of our Lord to today from its given date on January the 6th. We recall how Jesus' birth drew the attention of Eastern astrologers who traveled a long distance to pay homage to one they understood to be a king. Recorded meditations to accompany the artwork at the prayer stations on our prayer walk will be available throughout the 12 days of the season of Christmas, and it's still there for you to see for the next couple of days. Bring your smartphone and and walk the prayer walk, view the images, and listen to meditations that accompany each one of them at christmas.goodshepherdlancaster.org. You may or may not have seen them, but we also provided online worship and music for Christmas It's available through our website or on our YouTube channel, as is the Yuletide Celebration our Fine Arts Committee put together for us as well. I commend both of them to you. I encourage you to share them with family and friends. A new two-week adult faith formation class begins next Sunday, January the 10th. Spiritual Resiliency for the New Year is what we are calling it. Pastor Wilson and Chris Albert will help us understand the impact of the extended trauma of the pandemic, as well as introduce us to new practices that might enable us to develop greater resiliency for whatever this new year may bring. Zoom information is available in the January edition of our newsletter, Good News, which can also be accessed online as well before next Sunday. Join us for that conversation at 10 o'clock next Sunday morning. But now we worship together. 